Hey, hey, uh, Jess One Reader uh, did a review of The Way of Kings, a very negative, negative, earth scorching, glorious negative review of Brandon Sanderson's uh, The Way of Kings, saying that Brandon Sanderson is ruining fantasy and that it's just. It's just like devoid of fantasy, of 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 wonder, um, that it's uh, full of juvenile, kind of silly. Um, what did he say? Juvenile, silly, um, kind of sexless, repressed um, storytelling. Uh, you know, with you know, fairly you know, really run of the mill, if not poor writing and terrible characters and stuff like that and it was just like it was a glorious negative review um i have to say that there's some brandon sanderson that i've enjoyed i actually enjoyed the first two two of the brandon sanderson's uh stormlight archives the way of kings and whatever was next and then the next one after that just the bloat and the just kind of the meandering and the you know lackluster kind of character work did catch up with me but I I kind of enjoyed it up until then but I can see what Juan says about it is a very mechanistic um, rules based um, Juan kind of kind of compared it to kind of like a superhero book or it comes like sci like which is kind of like kind of sci-fi kind of superhero movie kind of thing with the Avengers um, um, which I can, I can, I can sort of see, or almost, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, it's it's Dungeons and Dragons rules based. Like you have to have mechanisms that you can roll your dice on, um, which is pretty far away from maybe like what the inspiration for it of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, there's a part of me that thinks it's like, well, these are two different, very different fantasies fantasy worlds that we're going from that the that this one is so popular at the moment and so popular i guess if you're on the other side of the fence does is something for cons maybe for concern or to bemoan because like you know these things you know things are in vogue for a while and then they fall out of vogue uh, and they can fall out of vogue very hard and then suddenly nobody is interested in you know brandon sanderson or maybe you know um, Robert E. Howard, or well, you not nobody, but you know, they fall out of, out of their they fall out of um, being the it thing of an era. That it is a thing of the era now does seem to kind of speak to people not really wanting to be unsettled in their fantasy. They want to be very comfortable in it. Um, it is definitely, you know. Um, the other thing is you could say Brandon Sanderson is not writing for, is writing for the masses. Uh, is, is, he is a bestseller. And I don't think, I think he's pretty much trying to hit that um, four quadrant kind of blandness in a way that is not going to offend anyone and is going to appeal to the most people. That isn't a negative thing. Um, I mean, he, you know, Maybe I'm siding too much with Juan here and uh, and um, looking, you know, look, looking too negatively at Brandon Sanderson. Um, I don't think he's a great genius. I think he is very, I think he is very competent at what he does, which is to write very easy to digest, easy to read, uh, large honking fantasy books for people who have a l appetite for l tons of this crap <laughs> as it was tons of this kind of material i do not have apparently an inexhaustible appetite for this because yeah i i basically shut the third volume in this book you know three thousand plus pages in and went okay i i don't think i need any more i'm i'm kind of tired of this and it's going on for I think that was the midway point or or it's it's gonna it's going on for more and more it's just like and the characters did not convince and well yeah yeah so i don't know i, I just wanted to say something 
have a little do document of me talking about this because I left a shitty comment as usual on underneath Juan's video, which didn't express any of that. So I figured I'd express it here. All right, more videos later.